But I am. How gordy this donor. He would just show up to the house, leave a cup of his sample there, and then dip. Their motto is to bleach Africa. Oh! Yep. Wallahi. Wallahi. Hold on. Welcome in. Hababies. Yeah! yeah! To another episode of the a Raps podcast. <laughs> this week we have Jarvis Johnson who absolutely <laughs> nailed the landing. Uh, yeah, so we talked about it like maybe 30 minutes ago. A lot of stuff happened. We had to go get an SD card. There was, I like, I felt like I was um, given a pop quiz just now because it's been so long since I was told what to say. You know, when we started, I was like, oof, we should have given you a little refresher, but you know, you, nah, you nailed it. Nah, I need, I needed time. Confidence. I needed to rack my brain. I needed to enter my mind palace and like, <laughs> remember, like sort of remember where I was and what was happening. The Jimmy Neutron brain blast. Exactly. I had a brain blast. <laughs> Uh, we got there. The Sherlock. We landed. This is like when um, those viral videos were, where it's like, watch as this pilot lands the plane when her systems fail and she loses the engine. And it, and then everybody like claps because she saved every life. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. Me and, me and like, uh, pilot are like, Wait, are we, are we the, are, were you the pilot in this yeah, situation? He's a pilot. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm the pilot. Okay. And we're the clappers. Okay. We're the clappers. Yeah. Yeah. We're the clappers. All right, cool. Well, welcome in, Jarvis. Everybody so got <laughs> you all got uncomfortable so when I made a plane reference. Yeah, yeah. We're like, oh, oh, I'm like, oh, 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 Uncles died in 9 11. No, we don't say our uncles. <laughs> no, 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 not our uncles. Not our uncles. Distant relatives. Distant. <laughs> Very distant. 10,000 miles in this kind of state. Okay, we're done. We're done. Today we have Jarvis, who is uh, better known as the sweatiest, most sexiest uh, karaoke singer I've ever seen in my I'm entire so life. I'm so sweaty. I'm glad you brought this up at the top. <laughs> I'm the sweatiest person I know or anyone knows, and yeah. it brings me great pain. It's actually nice for me because I am the sweatiest person I know, but mm -hmm. then I look at you and I'm like, man. You were sweating so bad the it. other day. It looked like grease was on your shirt. No, well, grease was on my shirt. <laughs> it was my grease. Um, have you ever looked into like ways to fix excessive sweating? I believe I have a thing called hyperhidrosis. Yeah. Where it's just like, I just sweat, sweat, sweat. Mm -hmm. Like when I was training for Creator Clash, for example, after a training session, my entire shirt would be water. It was like I dipped the shirt in oh, water. Shit. And it was just like. That means it was working. And I think, you know, people are like, drop the skincare routine. The skincare routine is my face always being moist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do think, because I have a pretty smooth face. I yeah. think it's because I sweat so much. Yeah, so maybe that's the that's the one thing I get. Yeah. Uh when it's like every shoot that I'm on, every people are like any extra notes that you need. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, if it's not cold, I will sweat. <laughs> and it's not like I I used to think I was really out of shape. Yeah. I thought I was just like so out of shape that just by sitting down I would be sweating. I used to go on sets and then they would have to special order me like this like Spanx t-shirt that would be underneath all my clothes because right. I sweat so much that they didn't want the clothes to get all sweaty so they put it on me so that I wouldn't sweat through the clothes and it was the and I was like you guys wearing this thing and nobody else on the cast would ever wear it except for me have you and seen it was so embarrassing have you seen the uh there is a sweat like preventing lotion uh where I don't want to give them free promo unless we want to pull this up there's a there's an ad where the guy does a rap <laughs> about his product i'm pulling uh, it up yeah it's called and the i found out about this on a shoot because uh they were like oh you sweat here they use this in the mandalorian so <laughs> and i was like the mandalorian what isn't really thought. shot in the desert i think they use like the yeah the volume or whatever it's called yeah so i don't know <laughs> Wait, they i mean maybe the there are some things in the desert <laughs> Um, if you I'm, go to like their Instagram, sell. 
Oh, there's no. It was way. like a makeup artist, so I was like, oh, "You seem so to you know what you're talking yeah, about." Yeah, yeah. But then also, there's like little Hollywood tricks. Like I've been mm-hmm. in like a makeup chair before, and they've been like, "Oh, I've got just the thing," and then it's like some random concoction. I was like, "Can you tell me what that is?" And they never do. No. And then you always leave before you get what it is, or they're yeah. always gone. Yeah. Never. Just bleep it. We're not going to be able to it, pull the video. We don't have the technology. <laughs> oh, we don't have the technology. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm logging into it. Instagram on the web. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Um, Has anybody ever really logged into Instagram since the first time they ever made the account? No. Dude, I don't know my Instagram password. I've never known it. I don't understand how people know it. I do love it's a very, um, you know how like older generations will be like we used to memorize all these phone numbers Mm -hmm. also we had phone books which now is like it seems like a security (laughs) problem it is a security problem Um, white pages delete your stuff off white pages but like the uh the concept now yeah you used to i used to know every password like because they weren't secure passwords and Mm -hmm. now it's like all my passwords are secure uh because i don't know them (laughs) it's like i use like a password manager whatever so whenever i am like caught raw dogging a login page i just close it. I go, nope, sorry, I can't do this. Yeah. I don't have my like password manager. Uh, I don't have my UB key. I'm, I'm, I'm actually about to get real secure with my logins because I'm afraid of near, near do wells and bad doers. <laughs> what the fuck is a near do well? You can't say that word. Oh, near do well. Actually, it is a, um, what's it called? Uh, it's basically a, uh, a shortened, version of like never do well because it's like in e apostrophe er like they just used an apostrophe instead of the word b it's like some middle someone's english here. shit sorry it's just someone's here it's so funny because i didn't even register to me because i'm just used to dogs yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what is something happening? it becomes like a hyper focus whenever he barks when we're recording literally just frogan like, just side out of me she's just like <laughs> i'm like okay I Dipper was like, doesn't bark but he has like through trial and error, figured out a perfect pitch that he can hit that just irritates me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like he will like it. he will like whine at a, and other people can't hear it. It's like you know how there's frequencies only dogs can hear. He found yeah. a frequency only I can hear, <laughs> <laughs> and he was go, <laughs> and I'll go, ah fuck, and then people are like, what's wrong? And I'm like, oh, I need to take Dipper out. He's mad. <laughs> <laughs> he was so good whenever I oh, came yeah. over and recorded Sad Boys. Like. He's great. They know, like, so you had two pups at the time. I know you were oh, trying to adopt yeah. them out. That pup found a forever home, and it's a good forever oh, that's home. That's good. Yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah. you had two, and then I was, I got, uh, it was a, so it sounds like everything was planned, but it was like I got essentially dropped on my doorstep a dog that was not mine. Oh, what? Where the? someone was like, hey, can you watch this dog for Christmas? Yeah. And I was like, sure. It was like a week. And then I watched the dog for six months. Did they, uh, did they ever come back for it? So they did come back, but the issue, what happened was that their landlord was like, I can't have a dog. Oh. And then they needed like a doctor's note and some other stuff in order to like to have like the, the dog. ESC, yeah. And then we were going to have another, like we had other parties that were interested in adopting the dog, but I wasn't, like I wanted to make sure she was going to a good home. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, in the meantime, I can just like hold on to her. And now it's like your responsibility. <laughs> and then it was like my responsibility. And then thankfully everything got cleared with the friend who uh, initially, and she wasn't even the original owner of the dog. She was also rescuing the dog from a bad situation. Oh my mm. God. So it was like, thankfully now her and the dog, I like follow them on Instagram and they're doing good. Dipper and her have had some reunions. So oh, that's that. good. They, they were so good. Like they placed, you know, I respect a dog that could place. Yeah. Frankie, uh, was the dog that I was fostering and she came in knowing nothing and it was like every time that she would like learn a trick or have some self-control like learned practiced self-control I was like yeah I'm so happy I'm so proud <laughs> it was so cute I remember like whenever you posted about like people potentially wanting her like Hassan oh yeah there was a, there was a little bit of pre-Kaya we were like I think um it's funny because Kaya doesn't exactly look like Frankie, but like they feel like they're in the same if you squint your eyes or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I remember Hassan was like, I can't remember what he posted something about dogs. And I replied with a picture of Frankie. And then he replied like, what, what type of dog is that? And I was like, she's available. (laughs) But but I think he wanted a puppy, which I get. Like I wanted a puppy when I adopted Dipper. Um, And he was still a rescue, but you know, get them young and you can mold yeah them. Mm-hmm. yeah i saw I, I i saw 
like the first time I met your dog was at the dog party. And mm. every time, and every time I saw you, you're just like chasing. You're like, I go into dog, dog mode, dog, dog, dog dad, dad mode. mode. Yeah. I was doing the same thing. I'm like, Hey, what's up drivers? Oh, bye. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a thing where I get social anxiety at like big gatherings mm -hmm. and I need like, um, a job. So I love hosting things myself because then my job is like working on it. It's checking everybody. Hey, are you doing good? Are you doing good? And then if I have to be like, go do something, no one's like, no, stay and talk to me. Or right, like, right, right. No, that guy's weird. Oh, no, he had to do or something. Or you don't feel bad if we're not staying and talking to someone. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Or like, I, I couldn't I'm say sorry. bye to Jarvis. He's just busy. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just bouncing around. I'm, I'm being a host. I do that shit all the time, dude. I know. I'm like, hey, man, I'm just so sorry. I can't say bye. Or, I'll see you next time. They're like, okay, yeah, thanks. <laughs> and uh, so whenever I bring Dipper to stuff, I am just a little bit more like on edge because I don't want, like in my head, I'm like, it almost feels like an exam where I'm like, you've been training for this. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's time to show everybody that, you know, and it's like not, it doesn't reflect on me, but in my head a little bit, I'm like, look, Dipper, I like these people. Please just don't pee on the, like he peed on Ethan's deck. I think one of the first times yeah, we like yeah, yeah. came over and I'm like, well, at least it was the deck. It's a deck. Yeah. He got confused. He, yeah. I, we don't have a deck for him to learn that. That's <laughs> He's like, like, what is this? An extension. It's like, this looks like how it's brown. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, like the outside. <laughs> yeah. Having your dogs mess up. You do feel shame. It's like, damn, that is. It's like fault. I peed on the ground. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Dude, at that party, remember that dog that was chasing my, uh, I'm not gonna say his name. So he gets all but my dog around. And I just had to hold them like a baby. There was like that black dog that was like chasing him around. And I yeah, was just yeah. like, he was mad. I was like, whose dog is this? <laughs> <laughs> that is another thing that gets me, gets my goat is when people aren't. So like on the other flip side, and it's like what I never want to be is someone who is like completely oblivious to their dog's activity. Yeah. yeah. And and then their dogs like getting into trouble or like pestering other dogs and then they just have no idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because that like dipper's been in, in dog parks, like I totally understand when people are uh anti dog park just in general. Mm -hmm. Because if you think about it, like a lot of people, they're working nine to five, they're like, you know, they get off or they're going before work and they're like they've got a million things on their mind, so they're not able to focus. They just want their dog to like be out of their mm -hmm. hair and be like tired so that they can like go do their stuff and maybe they're not paying attention and like this happened once where like a dog uh i was at the dog park when dipper was younger and this dog was like playing really hard with dipper and actually like bit him and like broke the skin oh man and dipper has never like responded to any aggression in an yeah. aggressive way he actually is just like i think we're playing still and he had at the time an open wound that I couldn't see because of his fur. Yeah. And so we like went and checked in like me and the other guy and I like took him home. And then I thought it was just like a close call. And then he like took a nap. And then when he woke up, he was like shaking his head kind of weird. And then I looked and then I moved. And now, I, now I've learned that I like am going to investigate way more immediately. Right. But like I was kind of new at the time. And uh, I was like, oh, my God, there's this wound. And then we were, like went to the vet and he had to get stitches and stuff like that. Oh, my God. And, and the entire time he's like fine and totally unaffected by it. Yeah. You know, like his oh personality, he's very like unflappable. But I started to develop and I could be wrong. I, th this is my emotional response. But like I've started to like when I see outdoor dogs, I've started to be anti outdoor dog. I'm, not, I'm anti because I grew dog. up around outdoor yeah. dogs yeah. and I just thought of them as scary and if a dog escaped into the street it would be mm. like the kids we would all have to run away and be inside i've done the same thing you know what i mean yeah yeah that's a florida was, thing you wouldn't get it. yeah it's a florida yeah, thing it's, it's like florida thing. it's like a it's like <laughs> a not. tiger escape from <laughs> yeah, the zoo yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're like this is an yeah. untrained beast 100 no outdoor dogs are wild dude. yeah they're wild it, we used it, to have it, dogs that would jump the fence and just chase us and we we're like come on man that's, this that's is, different <laughs> i used to my first nightmare was being chased by outdoor yeah, dogs yeah the uh but then also going on the dog side a lot of these dogs are just anxious mm -hmm. and and they they they've never been like sort of counter conditioned that like some of the stimulus that they're experiencing out, outdoors is not threatening mm -hmm. it's a similarly to how i feel about and maybe i'm just gonna get canceled for my problematic dog opinions but a lot of people don't train their smaller dogs this is a gotcha podcast we got you on the we dog gotcha. opinions but this is like a lot of people don't train their small dogs and everybody wants to have like a little dog they carry around because yeah. they think they're harmless because they small, think they're harmless. It's not gonna, nothing's yeah. gonna happen but they're just so anxious yeah, yeah. and i'm like really like uh dipper being a bigger dog i was always afraid of the perception yeah mm -hmm. it's kind of like in my own life if i'm like um 
at a clothing store and a worker starts following me around and they're like, can I help you? Can I help you? I, I almost feel the need to go. Sorry, I have a, uh, no, you're good. I have a response to when something stops recording. Yeah, yeah you're good. <laughs> Please. You can keep recording. Yours will never stop recording. Okay, cool. so you're yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're good. Um, okay, it's just a 30 minute thing and not a. Yeah, that's okay. a 30 minute. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I was saying. Uh, walking uh, in the clothing store. When you're walking oh, yeah. in the clothing so store. So if somebody's like, can I help you? Can I help you? There's a little bit. I've been like profiled enough in my life yeah. that I almost feel like I need to go up. Uh, Mr. President, yeah, no, the million dollar account is secure. Um, no, I'm just, I'm just uh, window shopping. I've got uh, many thousands in my my pockets that I'm considering spending. I just like want somebody to like be like, no, 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 I'm not what you think, right? I need to like go over, and that's what I feel. Um, with uh, I can't see you doing that and be like, yeah. The two thousand dollars is not going to cut it. We're going up to no, 10. no two thousand dollars. I've got that in my shoes right now. Um, but with uh, with having a larger dog, my whole thing is like, and then also Dipper's part pit bull, mm. and people get like yeah. really weird, like kind of weird yeah. about understandably, but like also, understandably, but like also stop. It's like I like know my dog and I've trained my dog and I've spent countless hours. You it's know, with shitty my dog. people get pit bulls. That's why. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, and that's the thing. It's yeah. like. And a lot of them, it's like if it's an out, I, I don't, maybe I've like drank the Kool-Aid or the granola or whatever. Jarvis has got outdoor dog I like racism, that, dude. I like that <laughs> nobody's ever drank the, cano the, the granola. Yeah, no, no. What is that saying? I just made it up. I made something up. I drank the granola. I blended it up. We were an eco-friendly. <laughs> this is I so cool. such an LA saying. Did you drink the granola? Did you drink the granola? <laughs> so no, no. I, I was going to say like, um, I was going to say the statement that like, I don't. Like a lot of times, uh, it's not the dog's fault, right? Mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, just in general, it's not the dog's fault. It's like it's we not. we bred these animals, <laughs> yeah, like they didn't we, exist. We, we've <laughs> created a codependence between them and humans, and uh, and then uh, if you're negligent to them, I think that that's like maybe a dis you've done a disservice to yeah. Yeah. to the animal. And of course, like dogs can have like uh, issues, just like any other thing, mm -hmm. any other thing can, but. I know my dog and I don't think he's like a sleeper agent. Sometimes people treat like he's a half pit bull, half husky. They treat him like, oh, he's just waiting for the right moment. Then he's going right. to eat a baby. Yeah. And I'm like, that's not going <laughs> to relax. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he lo he's like the sweetest dog in the world. And I will kill. I will kill. I will, I will, I will I'll be too. the, I'll be the I have, rabid I, dog. I also have a big dog. So I have the exact same mindset. I'm well, even at dog parks. I'm like always hovering over him. My yeah. eyes are never really off of him at any yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Or any given time, because he's also just a big fluff ball, mm -hmm. and he doesn't know when he's being attacked. Yeah, and most of the time, dogs will go and try to attack him because he's bigger, and that's what they want to do. They want to assert dominance. Yeah. So most of the time, I'm just like this, hovering over him. Even when he was like a puppy, I remember like we were raising him during COVID, and my parents were like, "Hey, stop hovering over him." I was like, "I can't. Like, he's gonna. There's a child at the dog park. Why <laughs> right, is there a right, child right. here?" He's huge. He's going to jump on her. Sure yeah. enough, he did. I hate when people bring kids to the dog park. I still, yeah. It's the most insane thing to me. I get why bringing I, a kid. I mean, like, I'm not, if you're a family, bring your kids to the dog park. You have no, a dog, no, but like, I, I, also get, I get it, but I also, I too. also hate it. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, I, it makes me uncomfortable, but um, I, I don't have an answer. I, I don't. <laughs> it just no. makes you uncomfortable. Speaking of kids, <laughs> we have a weird fucking topic today. Do I have a, like, are you about to uh, Kendrick me? Are you about to reveal that I have a child? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah we, we drafted a diss track. We, yeah, we found this 11-year-old girl. Sorry, Adonis. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I have a habit of showing you some weird shit sometimes, like the TikTok, like, yeah, food fucker. Food, food fuckers, yeah. So, today, we're going to be talking about the Netflix documentary, Thousand, The Man with a Thousand Kids. Oh, have my God. God, wait, this? I literally got DMs. I got a DM about this yesterday and I sent it to my producer and I was like, let's look into this. Oh, <laughs> all you yes. Yes. Okay. I have this is good. So I haven't watched the documentary at Raph has, but I know one of the guys in there very intently because he was on 90 day fiance. Um, so basically the drama is, uh, wait, can you ex explain like the, the <laughs> so basically so rap is going to take it away. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I know the, I know the, the, the controversy, but he knows like the, basically what the documentary is, is that there is this man named Jonathan Meyer, uh, from the Netherlands who was donating his sperm and mm -hmm. helping out families. Now these families 
they were going on to different websites, like these private donor websites, because oh, they yeah. want to like get to know, I know who the father is going to be and stuff right. like that. And then let me let me just assume yeah. where you're going with this. Yep. Normally, there is like a registry of like how uh-huh. you can only give so much sperm. Yep. Mm-hmm. But when you do it bespoke, like yep. this guy, mm-hmm. he can kind of lie about yep. how much uh, sperm he's given. Yep. And then and then seem like this like super good dude on paper. And then next thing you know, he has a thousand children. That's exactly, yeah. that's exactly okay. it. So I have a small interest in this topic because, because you also have, I also have a thousand kids. children. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, I've seen the Netflix documentary about um a couple of like uh some medical malpractice yeah. mm-hmm. documentaries are really interesting to me. Yeah. And there's one about like a, a fertility doctor who like impregnated a bunch of his. I own. saw that one. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. And he then was like, using his own sperm basically yes. to impregnate. Oh my god. Yeah. Patients who wanted in vitro. And, yeah. And he went to jail for that, right? Uh, actually, actually, I don't think he. Did. I don't think he did. I don't think he did. Dude, that's I. That's there's, a there's I think he got What's crazy is I think there's two yeah. guys who've done. There's two documentaries about two guys who've done this. One of them died before he was ever tried. That's okay. the one I saw. And then and then one of them, the guy, like it's like. N- there's something there's some crazy loophole where like it's weirdly not illegal what he did or something like that something horrible like the outcome was like wow things are really fucked but but one of the crazy things was that the guy operated in this like town that wasn't that big Mm -hmm. and so there were constantly people meeting each other and potentially like it being involved romantically, oh, so I didn't heard about know that they, they were, were related. Oh yeah. my god! It's like people in Utah, like the yeah. Mormons, like yeah. they risk incest, with it, which is a big thing. Which is why people. you know I think the, there's no legal limit, uh, according to I think the New York Times did an article on it. There's no legal limit, but most professional um, uh, like registries limit you to 25 donations. Which is already enough. Which I is think a 25, lot. 25, 25 people children. out there that are related to you is insane. Who are like your seed. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> That's wild. Brother. <laughs> technically your brother you or imagine? sister. It's you're walking insane. through the mall. You're like, that guy looks a lot like me. Yeah. Yeah. Especially like, remember when Arnold Schwarzenegger had that uh, love child with, with the his, maid? With the maid. And he, um, there was like denial about like what had happened. But then that kid became 14 and was a spitting image of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's Latino, no way to get Latino past it. know Arnold Schwarzenegger looks just looks like him. Just like him. So I'm just like, imagine that. You just see your spitting image <laughs> yeah. and you're like, ooh. ooh yeah, yeah. <laughs> there it is makes, no getting around this. Well, it makes me think because people are always like, you look a little bit like XYZ, like my brother. Or like, my, right. like oh my God. Now it's made me think like, but did I... I did, Someone donated. Dude, t- <laughs> my- I told you that about my mom. Well, I told you guys, but about my mom. My mom had a brother and sister. She had no idea who they were until she did a DNA test. And now she's like friends with them and stuff. That's cool. That's cool that she's trying. Yeah. I've seen a documentary. Uh, I like kickstarted a documentary. I was a, one of the donors of a documentary called Twinsters uh, in like 2015 or something. And it was two South Korean um, uh, twins who were separated at birth. Uh, at an oh. orphanage in South Korea, one of them ended up in France, and the other one ended up in L.A. And the one who ended up in L.A. was a uh, an actress, and she was like had a bit role in some show. And then people were sending it to the uh, the one French one, and and was like, "Hey, uh, this person looks exactly like you." And that's how they got connected. And then they like kind of made a documentary about them reconnecting. But it's so crazy because like one of them is like a French person and the other is like an LA like Valley <laughs> girl. Oh, it's so that. interesting. It's a really good documentary. I gotta see this. Oh, that's a l- that's All amazing. Right. Uh, let's uh let's watch one of the clips. Wait, hold from on. The- we got, we're not done with the baseline. Oh, yeah, explain, explain. So oh, yeah, basically Raph, go ahead. Stop me! I'm not done. No. Continue. <laughs> Excuse me, Capri, you're going to have to stop. So so basically, it's like following him around his donations. But the biggest controversy that went public on social media was the fact that they had a Facebook group for Kenya donation. And their motto is to bleach Africa. Oh, yep, yep. So this is the first clip of it. You might need volume booster on it. Don't tell Jordan about that. I got to reveal that slogan to him. Oh, we won't. We won't. He would, he would, uh, he would. Go ape shit over there. He is that. the Kenyan half of Sad Boys. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jordan would be like, I'm down to bleach half. Forget that. <laughs> he was like, one step ahead of you, brother. <laughs> that's what he would say. <laughs> that's my Jordan, that's my Jordan <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh What the Sigma? <laughs> so we started digging around more. 
Hold on, scroll up. Oh, this is Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, we're on Facebook. Three people are made. Joe, Joe Donor. Donor. And Kyle Gordy. CEO of Sperm Kyle donating Gordy. at Sperm. Kyle Gordy's who we're going to be gonna talking about. We're going to get into him. Those are mass donors. Mary also, also wants a baby. Mary also Look how weird they are, too. Oh, my God. This has got to be a fetish. You also want the baby, yes. These mass donors, they show up how many children they have. Thailand is fun. This might be 42 or 43. I'm like, Superman. They don't want to women Do you think... Wait. That's it. That's it. That's it. Do you think these people, so like the reasons to do this, because like Elon Musk is also like kind of a little bit like this. Yeah. Because he has like a million children. And some people think so highly of themselves that they're like, mm -hmm. I need to spread my super seed mm -hmm. everywhere. Yeah. Be and then some people I'm sure are like, don't feel super confident about themselves and feel validated by the fact that they are. It's got to like, be a power. 100%. It's got to be power. It's got to yeah. be a power thing. Is it Pull up this I, I think pull up maybe this for one. some of them it doesn't start that way. I think for some of them it's, it's well, what's like what's the a, AI thing though? Once you get that dopamine of the forty fifth child, <laughs> it's I like that it's the forty fifth child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you get in there, you're like, I don't know if I'm about this well, life, so, and then you get to forty five, and you're like, boom. Well, so some <laughs> of these people they don't do they do what's called natural insemination, which is, is Wait, exactly we'll what it, it sounds. We'll get into it. We'll get into okay, it. Okay, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. What the fuck? But that is just. Jesus Christ. Okay. But okay. we'll get into it, I guess. We'll I, get into no it. pun intended, I assume. We'll get into it. And Ew, now, and then that. back in. Stop saying that for We're going to get into it. We're <laughs> gonna okay, get no, into stop it. getting into it. Oh, yeah. I want to get out of it. Uh, and I want to stay out of it. Yeah, this is a crazy. The quickest way to fill up those sperm banks so they're not importing that sperm is to get these serial donors over there. And when you read the messages between my source and these donors, it all becomes clear. Anthony said that the clinic had flown him over, paid for his flight, his hotel, and his entire stay until he donated 500 straws. And those vials would fill up the tank. What is a or straw? I'm assuming a straw is like the tube of sperm. For donation. For donation. <laughs> I've never... I've never... Um, 500 little donated straws. sperm. Have y'all? No. This is why we need to get straws no, out of the I don't ocean. Have, I don't want to have a random kid out no, there. No, I, I have absolutely no interest in it. And I get that it's a way that like... I know they usually market it to like college students who like... For money. money. Yeah. But that is such an insane... I would say, hey, do you want a little extra cash? <laughs> well, I've always uh, been. Have a child out in the world. Yeah, and you don't even get paid that much money for donating. And not that, not that, not a crazy amount. Not as much now. Back in the day, like when they first like really kind of like started with the sperm donations, it was like you would get paid a lot of money mm -hmm. if you donated a certain amount of sperm. When I was at my poorest, I was like, maybe I really should do this. But the thing that stops me is like, okay, there's my spawn is just somewhere out there in the yeah, world. Because you know, there's somebody like I feel, okay, I don't know this for sure, but I'm about to assume a lot about, uh, I assume there's a lot of creepy people who are like, <laughs> yes, I will donate. Yeah. It's never the normal people. Yeah. Right. It's never yeah, normal no, that's people. what I mean. It's never <laughs> somebody who's like, man, well, I'm going to uh, study for my law exam and- Maybe. Then I'm going to play a little cricket and um, I might head over to the sperm bank for a quick straw. <laughs> <laughs> and then tea with my mother. I, like, you know I, I mean? like I like that your version of normalcy is high class. It's ever a normal person like, mm, I'm going to buy half of America. <laughs> I gave, by the way, I gave the most non-normal example of a person. It's not, even high, it's not even high class. <laughs> Who plays cricket, which I don't even yeah. think. Hello, mother. I would like to donate. <laughs> like, what the uh, <laughs> that was crazy. That was, that was a great, that was a great example. Yeah, uh, was, now I feel less What's normal. the rest of this clip, Rogan? Is it like no, something? Play it, play it. No, okay, play it, yeah. That he was actually there being milked as a cow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Oh! The goal of the clinic is to see. This is what I mean. Two hundred babies. Two hundred every with year. His sperm. With his sperm. I like making babies. Shut up, All dude. These cereal You're not. Donors have so this is Kyle. The new promised land. Good to be sharing the promised land with you, brother. Kenya is the. Pro oh fuck off. <laughs> and then the Anthony fuck? says he wants to. Oh, oh my God. God. Jail. Jail, get rid of him. It's horrifically racist. 
Oh my it is god. So beyond. Okay, oh my okay. God. I okay. I, it mean, is horrifically racist. Did he it is bleach? but there were signs. There were yeah. signs 100%. before the yeah. horrific racism. hundred yeah. percent. Like he said things like, I like making babies. Yeah. I they like milked making me. Babies. They milked me like a cow, but I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, but what? He's a freak. <laughs> yeah. Dude. So in the documentary, Kyle Gordy was somebody that was like brushed over, but he's a main character to me. Because I love 90 Day Fiance and he was on a recent season of 90 Day Fiance. Um, oh he basically met a lady in Malta that was trying to, so originally they started talking because she wanted a baby, Okay. but then they ended up getting into a relationship. So he's 33 years old. He's from LA. Um, he doesn't, well, he's from LA. He lives in LA, but he's also a nomad. So he doesn't really have, he travels the world. Essentially. House. Yeah. Um, so at 22 years old, he started <coughs> sperm donation with a lesbian couple, but then it became a hobby. He doesn't charge people. My hobby, Magic the Gathering. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle Gordy, Magic the Gathering of Skeeting kids. Skeeting straws. Yeah. <laughs> he, no, he doesn't. So he doesn't charge people. He's like, I'll accept donations, but he'll travel to these people and give them the donation for free. That's, but that's, you, you, you made it sound a little altruistic there. I, I feel it's like. It's fetish. It's a fetish. It's fetish. It's that's 100% fetish. Because it, it's also like a mix of like sex tourism too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where it's like, hell. And that's if he's doing, you know, the natural insemination of it. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone hated him on 90 Day Fiance because he was a, a fucking weirdo. So that was his first serious relationship. He had a point system with his partner. That part. was his first serious relationship at 33. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's been donating sperm since he's 22. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. See, he's been he's been in the gym, dude. He's been putting up <laughs> shots. Like, the, you know, practicing. they wasn't with me shooting in he the looks, gym. He, like, put in 11 years. <laughs> he looks malnourished just from how much they've been milking him. Yeah. yeah. It just looks like... A cartoon cow. Is this, Dude, this is like yeah, when, this is like when an astronaut finally goes to space after all of that time, like underwater, yeah. doing like figuring out the like physical mechanics <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. of stuff. He's like, this is my time. This is his Olympics. <laughs> all I can think about when he said they're milking me like a cow is him hooked up to a rig like the Matrix. <laughs> no, him hooked up to a rig. Like, remember when? Uh, remember when Jordan Peterson tweeted that? Uh, oh yeah, that yeah. Uh, uh, it was like either it was like fetish content or something. It was like all those old men sitting on a bed, and it was like and it was like, like milking them. them? Yeah. Yeah, 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 but it was. I think it was some sort of like fetish content that he was like, "This is what they're doing." What? I don't do Jordan Peterson. I'm at Jordan. Uh, yeah, you, good. yeah, yeah you, you did Jordan a deep Peterson. voice. It's more like Kermit the Frog. I think it's Kermit the Frog with a little Irish sounding. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 This is what they're doing yeah. in China. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. milking us. <laughs> they're milking <laughs> us. They're, 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 they're multiplying. We must stop it at once. <laughs> Dude, was that? <laughs> I, I have no idea. I can't remember because uh, it's something that appeared on my feed without my consent yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then i just immediately like did like the not interested block this person never show this person yeah. dude, never showed me uh send cease and desist to elon musk like dude every time i open up twitter it's just like flash bang of my eyes i'm like that's yeah. that's never gonna get it's out of terrible. my brain but he had this relationship point system which people are hating him for he was like you know you have to earn intimacy from me <laughs> So like, it's a, yeah. like it's a fucking battle pass. Yeah. 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 yeah, so he's like three points is a kiss, and ten points is full from on from him. Yeah, and, from yeah. The other and ten points is full on sex. So how do you get these points? Also, three points is a kiss. Ten points is full. On. That I I don't think of sex as like three point two kisses. If you times yeah, if, you times, if, you, if you times a kiss by three, you get hardcore. So. Yeah. So the way the two more of these and I'm gonna blow. Yeah. Yeah. So she had to earn points and it was shit like her smelling nice, her eating healthy, um Bro, her looking nice, but she lost points if she did unhealthy shit like drink alcohol. Or smoke a cigarette. Or, or smoke yeah. So he was like tracking her. Yeah. That's he, he's like, uh, that's an infraction. <laughs> <laughs> You've uh, mm, 10 points to I go wanna, handle. I don't want to spoil it if you're going to watch it, but I will say that they do end up having sex. And then she's like, I might be pregnant. And he's like, it's your fault. Oh, she wanted it. He's like, <laughs> it said you're ovulating, but it's not dark enough. So you're not going to get pregnant and I'm not getting you a plan B. <laughs> oh, he's definitely got this. And she's like, can you please give me a plan B? And he's like, that's, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah. That is r word yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 it's bad it was weird so that, that's the introduction to him as a person uh, i'm doing that for youtube purposes yeah by the way. like we yeah it's just a like literally uh you know people are i've seen this is just a little aside i've seen people be like um has anyone ever actually uh experienced youtube censoring if they say like certain curse words 
literally in our uh, Cody Co video, I did not censor myself. It got limited out because we're donating all the proceeds yeah. to Rain. Mm -hmm. um, it it got uh, limited ads, and the only thing we did was censor that word, and no problem. To yeah, it day. happens. And I'm like, okay, I will. You know, I've done my experimentation. I'm not trying to. I have no problem like saying the horrific thing that yeah. it is, but yeah. No, that makes sense. Play this. So this is a, this is an introduction to him as a sperm donor. That's what I am. Kyle Gordy, the sperm donor. Serial DIY spam. Serial donor. killer. Kyle this is where we should have stopped. He has fathered over seven. Serial DIY with is his rap name. <laughs> We're about to have intercourse to make a baby. Like naturally, we're gonna make a baby. Kyle lives as a digital Dude, nomad, this is such traveling the world. This guy was on 90 Day Fiance. Yeah. yeah, this I guy is such. He's America. the next unicorn. Do I want to? Expand this, no, this is this guy has yes. a look in his face his that is so scary to me. Raise significant bleep it, bleep this. He I looks like a, he looks like Rob Deerdeck with no, zero palsy. I was gonna say he looks, like but bleep that out. No, <laughs> bleep it. <laughs> he does. Yeah, wait. It's he's he looks like he's being interviewed about how he's cured like a, a crazy yeah. disease. No, no, no. He's being interviewed like he's a billionaire. He just made like, the iPhone. Dude. He, he's yeah, going to do a keynote. He was on Dr. <laughs> Phil and he genuinely believed he is the fertility expert and went face to face with actual medical doctors. He's like, no, I'm the expert. You don't know what you're talking about. He has had practice. He was like, how, how do you know what you're talking about if you don't actually do like the fertility? Like I'm ethical. I do this. Like, I'm, I'm ethical. The, I'm the expert. So Kote, oh, finish me, this video. Like he, he gets even more insane. And lack of regulation raised significant concerns. Yet he portrays his actions as selfless charity work. Genesis one twenty eight to be fruitful and multiply. That's literally what oh. I'm doing. There's no issue with Ew. it. Oh no, I have a big. Dude, people why is he love sweaty in that. <laughs> people love taking like uh, three words from the Bible and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, extrapolating yeah. it to whatever fits their desires. <laughs> 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 oh, they said the word multiply in the Bible, so that's yeah. all I'm doing. Yeah. That means uh, not math. I have to have sexual. Yeah, Genesis. Relations with it everybody. says multiply. Like, yeah. And also, Genesis means the creation of. So I need to multiply my creation. 100%. <laughs> that means I need to have ten thousand kids. That's all. Right. That's what. That's what they meant. Helps her get pregnant. He helps people get pregnant. Yeah. So he After said his huge dick he has helps people get pregnant. I found out some things about Kyle that make me believe that his motives are not what he says that they are is he like only targeting black women no too? no 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 he's actually it's, pretty it's, racist he's the no, one I mean, yeah. actually <laughs> wait, 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 wait 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 he was the bleach africa guy right <laughs> he's a part of that group he's yeah. a part of that group chat but he's not he's the not one the one who said, who said it, it. Yeah. okay so, that was Joe Donor. That was I think it was Joe Donor. Yeah, yeah I think it was Joe so, Donor. <laughs> Love is kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> Hate is sperm. Not donor. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that was good. So I I know too much about. I did like a deep dive on him because I think he's the weirdest fucking person to ever be on Ninety Day Fiance. Yeah. So I think that so that I've start I've stopped talking about reality TV to a point because I start to reach these a point where I'm like the producers are complicit in what I think is an unethical act. Mm -hmm. And I think that like, if you did, and also I know, cause I, I have friends who uh, do screenings and like interviews for some reality shows. Mm -hmm. I know that you had to talk to Kyle Gordy. You had to see what he was about. Yep. And then you put him on your show to, uh, for, for content, but at what cost? Yep. And that's where I'm like, it's like not, no longer fun for me. Yeah. No, I, I definitely agree. The ethics behind <laughs> Those shows are uh, insane. The content is crazy. Yeah. So he has over 70 kids. He has about 10 more on the way. Does mm. it for fun. Does I mean, it for congrats, free. congrats, I guess. And you were mentioning his type of donation. Like, how, how does he donate? Yeah, he likes to do... Uh, Super soaker? Pretty much, essentially. So he, <laughs> he just has sex with them. Okay. <laughs> He's like, we can do it. He, well, he'll be like, I can give you a donation. I can put it in a cup. Or... I prefer this method. It's worked wonders. I think this is just it works, a ruse. It works better. You're gonna get. You're more That's likely like, to get it pregnant. It feels like someone's like trying to just have sex. Like with just people. have sex. Yeah. With yeah. Me. yeah. yeah. Take advantage of he's women. He's like my huge dick gets people pregnant. <laughs> no, babe. It just feels better to not use a condom. Nothing bad will happen. I won't buy you a plan B. This is all part of my plan. <laughs> it's your fault. You this were is my plan A. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you didn't read the chart. He, <laughs> like, he does. Yeah. And then like. Oh man, it's just so gross. Cause then he's like, "All right, here's what you have to do after I impregnate you. You have to like lift your legs up like oh, you're a baby. Okay. It's like you have it's to like put your awful. legs up against the wall for 15 minutes. Yeah, some That's of like this torture. stuff is like 
I've heard from like you know couples who are trying to get pregnant. Like, right, 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 so it's like right, I don't right, want right. to like uh, delegitimize like some. I don't know the no, stuff, but I definitely sure. heard like non creeps doing like that stuff. Yeah, yeah. but. He, but you know, he wants to help people get pregnant, so he has a website called bepregnantnow.com. Uh, I'm afraid that's to a go great, there. That's a great. <laughs> yeah, bepregnantnow.com. Be pregnant pregnant I can't believe he got the dot com. Yeah, so he basically gives people <laughs> go daddy whole, his on. whole diet. <laughs> go daddy is yeah. That's his yeah registrar for sure. Yeah. <laughs> his whole diet of what you need, what increases fertility because he has a really high sperm count. I think it's in like the two hundred million. I don't. I actually so don't the norm know is about, about like 20, 20 million or so. Okay, so, Did I really like this WordPress. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> I love this that he his put his site. name in the title of it kyle like, gordy uh, where he's like be pregnant now by kyle like gordy. it's a book <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so he has all the methods and stuff publishers hate him but the, the thing is so wait contact a, a me? friend of mine yeah Don't. so no here's the thing <laughs> wait hold on <laughs> he's got a twitter Are you gonna contact him <laughs> jarvis listen the thing is i had a friend kyle kyle <laughs> yo kyle what's up i had a friend follow him on instagram oh, because no. now you have fiance oh he yeah. dm'd her right away and was like are you a fan or are you looking for a donation? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he's easily accessible. Like, and then my friend was like, I want to have you on stream because it'll get your face out for more donations. He's like, yeah, I like that. You know, I, want I think you I'll to, be okay. With I that. want you to think about this, how that, how you're basically a degree of separation away from this individual. I don't like that. <laughs> I think he should be on I was, spo- I, was, I, like I was supposed to help interview him and then I didn't get any idea. It was like, would you help interview this guy? He's a bad guy. I was like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. I'll talk to anyone if they're insane. And then I, now that you're telling me this, I'm freaked He's out. Like, I was, but like, dude, imagine Jordan talking to him, no context. Yeah. Ugh. Well, I think the thing is he has horrific vibes. So I think yes. that like mm-hmm. you would just know from the jump that he's like a little free. Yeah. How tall is he? Now I'm on. No, I, I don't want to. I don't want to shame. <laughs> he's probably like five eight. I, yeah, I was thinking he's <laughs> five you know, two. He, oh, he's like, yeah, I'm really tall. He's, he's like, so I'm re- short. He pulls a scooter. Scooter has been on the scene where he says he's a tall person, but he's not. But he's like, yeah, I'm a really tall person. I'm six foot tall. And Doctor Phil's like, no, you're not. Uh, no, he's probably you're like, not. he's we'll like right five back. nine. <laughs> but what is this the female fertility diet <laughs> and it's two well, he's nuts. nutting and then that's that is that lab wait, dude? <laughs> wait what is that no, dude? Is that fertility diet with me oh you brought it i got nuts <laughs> is, that just, is that just beans so does kyle <laughs> is that just beans it's and tuna beans in a kid. Dude, dude, oh, is that chicken of, a, of the kidney. sea yes. chicken of the sea <laughs> is that the chicken Gross. So Chick- gross. Chicken of the Sea. Do you know about the meme with Chicken of the Sea? Yeah. It's very old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the old Jessica meme, Simpson. Jessica yeah. Simpson's like, is this chicken or is this fish? Yeah, I love being old. <laughs> they they cause... ended up making it chicken though after or before, but there is Chicken of the Sea chicken. I swear by that it. makes sense. But it, you got to be They do canned chicken in as well. ninety days. Okay. That's, why does canned chicken sound grosser to me than canned tuna? Well, because canned chicken seems like it doesn't belong. Yeah. In the can. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. In ninety day. People were also shitting at him because like he would he would kind of refuse to sit down and he'd always adjust his balls. He'd just be touching his balls. Well, I mean that I get. No, no, he's gotta... no. Like more than the average person, he's like literally just like touch. He's like, yeah, I need to keep my balls. <laughs> he's got like a my, level. He's, like, yeah, he's yeah. Like, just holding yeah. it. Up. I need my balls to be perpendicular. He's like, to my the balls plane. can't be too hot. Like it's gonna kill the sperm production. Oh, guys, right. the male <laughs> fertility diet is very similar. It's also got nuts. This looks like zata. I don't like know what this seeds. is. Uh, salt or why did he put this? He's not impregnating men. He's well, helping he wa- out men. No, he wants he's to help out men. He Bananas, wants to help broccoli, oh, got it. tuna as well, I, I believe. Wait, salt and vegetables and fruits. Okay, a lot of this is just normal stuff. Though. <laughs> the male fertility diet, just eat healthy. Eat healthy, <laughs> yeah. The, the, issue, the big issue with mass donation like this is eventually, you know, it's not helping parents at all because then they have to have that conversation with their kids on a grander scale of like, hey, just so you know, this person was kind of a shitty dude and now yeah. you might have like 500 brothers and sisters in your vicinity, so we need to vet every person that you're dating. dating, Or that Could you're you imagine, thinking like, about hooking up with. Can you take a DNA test real quick before yeah. we hook up? <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. Like, what's your story? Like, do you are you a donor or are you... Are, we, uh, are you normal, normal birth or are you... Freak, man. Yeah, so his primary donation has been in the United States, but he wants to go global. 
<laughs> Let's go on the world tour. It's, I was gonna say it Stand sounds like it sounds like the way that like a Hollywood executive would talk about like <laughs> a like musician they just signed. Like, okay, you're really good in this market, but we want to go wide. <laughs> we want to go global. Mm. I can see him doing like an Apple keynote. How, how does he make money if he gives all these donations for free? He's a nomad. He, he probably just lives with the people that he's giving. I'm sure they. I'm to. sure they. He just requests that they give yeah. X Y Z, and then he was just on 90 Day Fiance, so I'm sure he made money from that. Yeah, but. I feel like they don't pay you enough for those shows. Mm -hmm. In order to do the proper exploitation, the people cannot be making enough money. No. Right, you know what right, I mean? One hundred percent. But you know, when he was on Doctor Phil, he finally got a DNA test because before he didn't do like a full panel of like DNA. Oh, for his diseases yeah. and stuff. So the doctor said he has good genetics, oh, good, but they okay. think he's mentally ill. Whoa! Well, oh, <laughs> yeah. So they think. Yeah, but he's like, yeah, like my my dad had a PhD, my grandpa has a PhD. Pretty huge dick. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was thinking of the angle to make a joke on yeah. that. You did it for me, and I appreciate yeah. you. No, I appreciate he's you. Like, doing that one. I come from a family of geniuses. My <laughs> genes are great. I got the best genes in town. But yeah, he's a weirdo. But he's easily accessible on Instagram. So if you want to have a baby, you should DM Kyle Gordy on Instagram. Don't, don't, don't even say don't, that as a joke. Don't do no, that. Kidding. They're gonna do. People no, will no do shot, it. They will. They will. Because when I followed him, he didn't reach out to me. I'm going to follow him, see if he'll you impregnate should. me. I was kind of offended. I was like, damn, yeah, I want to yeah, have I'm you on my to stream. i drop a follow real quick. <laughs> just, <laughs> just kidding. I want to go to his page. Kyle. Kyle the Gordy. Instagram one? I think you can't pull it up. I think Cap. his Instagram is literally just him traveling. Kyle Gordy 1234. This motherfucker has 3,000 followers. And he was. Oh, that's it. I, thought, I figured he would get more. That's what I'm saying. That. It's like, that's pathetic that's embarrassing that's really bad and, and i can't I, even I'm get his that, kids to follow him i'm <laughs> saying that as not a clout, not a clout shaming thing but simply because he was on 90 day fiance and it's all his page is about right <laughs> it's like because if you because if you're a fan favorite you people will follow you but if you know he's the opposite of a fan favorite you know what he's i will I, I i've never clout shamed somebody in my life i'm gonna clout shame mr be pregnant now.com yeah <laughs> and also kyle gordy one two three four this man feels like a bot. He yeah. feels like... Well, that's how long it takes him to get somebody pregnant. Just four right, seconds. just count to four. That's it. That's, oh count my. to four, and now he'll have a child. <laughs> uh, it's a selfie, and he says, in Malta. But I forgot exactly when I took this picture. I do know it was a great day outside. And then there's 90 hashtags. <laughs> Hashtag 90 Day Fiance. All hashtag. of it's hashtag. <laughs> There's Went no to Borgen, Bergen, Norway for two days. Not a bad place. The weather is nice and cool. Clean air and nice hiking. I went up to Mount Floyan, the mountain next to Bergen. He never talks about the coming that he's doing. No, but the <laughs> crazy thing is also well, while well, he, they was, want, he wants to show people that he's well traveled, yeah. so it entices people to uh, uh, click on his link and then ask him to donate. Uh, it's just a blurry photo of the food he was eating ugh. in Norway. Why can't, he oh, can't even take awful. a food picture correct. It's, it's like ninety percent table. It feels like I'm watching, looking at crime scene photos. Ten percent come, dude. What's this picture that I pulled up on his, <laughs> his Twitter? Well. I realized I was like, this is a weird picture, but he's it's his face in the beer as well. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen those machines? They're pretty cool. You send a photo over. Regardless, it's crazy that he put his insane. own photo. Yeah. <laughs> so is that him or is that Aaron Paul? No, I can't really dude, tell. From that looks the like phone. a fucking mugshot. It does. Look like also, a mugshot. that's beer and not like a latte art. No, I don't it's, know. A, it's beer. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Like yeah. 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 So with some, jungle. there's a machine that you can get uh, for Guinnesses, especially or yeah, anything that that's like sense. stouty. Uh, it, it'll print out the image in the foam for you. The, by the which way, is pretty. A waste of money, but pretty cool to get. That's cool. If yeah. we didn't know this guy's background and you just got like a reply guy on Twitter or something like that, and you see his display name on Twitter, go back to his Twitter. His display name is Kyle Gordy Spurman. <laughs> <laughs> I would think that's that a sounds like a parody yeah. account. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a parody account. Dude, also in 90 Day Fiance, one of the reasons why they broke up, spoiler alert, is because he refused to stop donations. Like he was still donating. Oh, you can't lock down the beast. Yeah. <laughs> you can't lock down the, right the stallion. Went, right before he went to go visit her, he did a donation. A natural donation. A natural donation right before. And they were dating online for like a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Piece of shit. That's crap. Do you want to just skip over John or do you want to cover John? I mean, John, Jonathan Meyer, I mean, because I'm assuming you're going to watch the documentary because you do want to talk about it with Jordan. Maybe. 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 Uh, but basically, I mean, he does. He has this whole he has a YouTube page as well where he just goes and travels and goes, I'm here in uh, the Coliseum. It is beautiful. Uh, people died here. 
and then he just he does like videos all the time. But he basically would just tell these women he's has a limit of five, so he's not going to go over five. You're the lucky. Uh, you're one of the lucky five. Oh my god! Um, and Fraud, go. lies, deception, yeah. deceit. Yeah. yeah. I don't and like he, that. Yeah, I, obviously. <laughs> but his, he, I don't know how much natural insemination he did. It feels so wrong saying that. It sounds dirty. But he, his, he would just show up to the house, jerk it in somebody's bathroom, leave a cup of his sample there, and then dip. And I'm like, that seems weird. That's too. like that's somehow weirder than what yeah, yeah, it is yeah. really I, weird. Because in my mind, I'm like somebody. I know that like here. men are motive. Like there are men that are motivated by sex. So the yeah. concept of someone like just trying to have a bunch of sex and doing yeah, yeah, it under yeah, disguise yeah. is like something that I could at least I've seen people like that before. Mm -hmm. Just leaving like like a cup of uh, it uh, uh, it's, it's like a cement. crime scene that's like your mean, calling card why yeah. it's weirder because then you go to your bathroom it's every like a, he leaves day. a note that's just got like a blowing, a blowing <laughs> he's like hope you enjoy Thank the you. sample please it's leave me five stars on the app yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, the, so but weird. The, the ethics of the pages as well is kind of, the moral ethics of it as well is kind of like you go to these pages like these these private donor pages and then you can filter the ones that are regulated at least somewhat quote, quote unquote regulated you can filter out what you don't want and what you do want, mm -hmm. and then you do can a just little, pick. just a tiny little eugenics for yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like finding your perfect child, and I'm like, that seems a little. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, to get a little, a little designer baby. What's yeah. the harm? Yeah, there's I mean, not yeah. a little there's Gucci not like baby. a history of this going poorly. A little Gucci, yeah. Baby. But the ethics of it all is obviously they're um, dubious at best. They're mm -hmm. fucking up the pool, the Good gene word, pool. Dubious, yeah. yeah. Gross. Bleaching Africa is the most insane yeah. thing That's I've so ever crazy. heard. It's also a little bit tired because I mean, uh, I feel like Europe has been doing like yeah, like this. This is an old story. This is the weirdest way to do it. You could do it through anything else, you know, just war. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to talk about with this guy. You guys had this. In I, I mean that that was pretty much like the 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 thing that was like on our minds. For I, a yeah, while. this is now going to be on my mind yeah, for a while. I'm happy. To I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to think about other things. You're going to be at Magic the Gathering today, just like no, no. I want to <laughs> put this like, card down. Let me not about it. His interviews are, are very interesting. You know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I did a deep dive. Like, Wait, Kyle like Gordy's interviews. Yeah, I, I did a deep dive on him. Like, for Wait, let's walk. Can we? Can we? Can we find like just? Yeah, just pull, sure. up, pull up the Vice one. Uh, Vice. And did you guys have other topics or? To be completely honest with you, this is like, all right, cool. This is like the thing we're going to talk to him about. Oh, um, great. I mean, we're also, you know, get oh, to I, did, know I just, you. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't like no, 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 not at all. No, no. The first one. What, 36 is the counting. This is the cup I'm going to be drinking off in. For oh, the <laughs> bro, why not? Why right off the rip? They've studied the cold open well. They know exactly how to, or in this case, a warm open, I guess. And I'm going to be going inside of it right now upstairs in my room. Oh, upstairs Kyle in his room is his car. He didn't ask us for any donation. Did he know that they were going to be? He didn't even make they, the he knows. gesture like, "Oh, you guys could take me here or do this for me." It was just like he was happy to do this. Like this is how he gets Dude. off. Like he's, "Oh, hey guys, come on in." I never, I never, never, I never, 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 never want to victim blame or anything. But women, for me want personally, have kids, and you know, <laughs> for me personally, okay. Take out the part where I said I don't want a victim blame. <laughs> he does. I'm about to blame he, he some victims. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Um, no. Warning. Um, yeah, like I, I, I make no statement about anyone else's opinions or reads of this person. But for me personally, <laughs> if, um, okay, what, uh, there's a saying that goes like no free lunch. There's a saying that goes, you know, if, uh, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So. And this is, you know, I don't know the full extent of these people's experiences and I want to cast no judgment on them themselves. But for me personally, this man is a walking red flag Yes, because he's just like, I want to, this is the, the cup that I brought that I'm going to semen, I'm going to come <laughs> into and I'm going to give it to you and I love it for free. And I do it in my car. I'll do it in my car. I'll do it. Which is where it, I live. At a bar. I'll do it in. The room. Why is he the doctor? I'll do it with the broom. I'll do it with the broom. <laughs> He's the doctor Seuss of <laughs> He's like, <laughs> dude. I, I and and I and I don't know this, but I would think there would be some, you know, no advice to anyone. This isn't legal advice, but I I, I assume there'd be some paperwork 
that you would sign to be like, yo, like I'm the. He doesn't do any legal. He though any literally anybody could go. So he says he tries to do like a post birth adoption, but he doesn't require it. So anybody can literally go and sue him for child support. Like usually, what I would suspect is there'd be paperwork that's saying like, dude, yeah, you could have a, but you could have, dude. We can bankrupt Kyle Gordy. He said. He, the, he, I think he's already think morally he's, bankrupt. <laughs> he lives in his fucking car. I don't think there's much to take. All right. Yeah, he's, he's a, a nomad. Sperm. Okay. There's nothing sorry, wrong sorry. with living there's in your car. Wrong, there's nothing wrong with living in your car. If there's you're nothing a wrong with living I at a bar. He, I there's think nothing he, wrong he, with he, living he, in a room. This one. <laughs> or living on a broom. Does he talk about it? Uh, I think so. You can live on the moon. He's totally aware of the consequences. He just doesn't care. Okay. Wait. Let's watch a little bit more of this. And then I am so curious about one sperm donation. Two. I'm obviously not. Using my sperm, so I mean, I figure, plus, you know, I can help them out. I'm not I using my sperm. This is fucking shot, what do you mean dude? I'm not using my? You're clearly using it. It's not like it. It's just well, sitting I'm around. Using it. It's just sitting around in my balls. So I guess you could have it. <laughs> yeah, my sperm's not paying rent. I gotta get. Wait, I gotta evict it. Hold on, I need to find the. the so the, there's another one. I need to find it real quick. It's a with a British lady. It's the most unhinged shit yeah. I ever seen in my life. He's like, yeah. You haven't had sex in a long time. You're so you're gonna be so tight. You're gonna be so fucking tight. Oh my god! And he's like, yeah, my dick is we so. Uh, we have to bleep that, dude. That's like, oh my god, traps are bleeped. That. Behind it, Bars I don't tone. think that he's trying tone. to have sex with different women. I think he's Jalen in what he does. This has been going on for centuries. People use sperm from friends. Oh all shit, the time. Alex Baldwin is. <laughs> You can actually look for a sperm donor yourself and find someone who actually might donate to you altruistically. So there's different ways oh to uh, inseminate women. You can do uh, artificial insemination. What was that doctor being like? This there's is also normal. We've been doing this for thousands it's of millennia. What is happening here? Regular sex. If Chantel does get pregnant, I think this would probably be 42 or 43. That's a lot of kids, man. See what I am. How Gordy. Wait, wait, hold on a here. second. She's is he, doing it. Is he doing the documentary That's after, interview after, right after? After he had sex. That has to be it. This this has to be set up for the shot. I don't think this really happened. Uh, oh, I God. I choose, hope it I is. I choose can, to believe that. I choose can to I, believe can that, Can I be too, quite honest? This is Knowing what I know now, I know how producers think. I get it. However, that for sure has happened. I don't know. Oh, I believe it. I believe it's <laughs> happened. Okay, so he's saying it's 42 <laughs> or 43. Interview. The fact, too, that he's counting also gives yeah. me... Uh, immense pause because because if he just wanted to donate just to donate why would he even uh, count unless he wants it was to know to... he's past like the yeah legal yeah limit yeah or he wants to go past that I'm limit sure, I'm a, uh, go to the one that's my aim is to have a thousand children my aim you want me to finish this one up no, no, no. Or, okay the, the this one it's basically essentially the same thing but it, it has the british lady that's in love with i mean in their defense it sounds like their aim is pretty good <laughs> <laughs> So gross. What happened? What happened? So nasty. <laughs> yeah, that one. Sperm, sperm king. king is wild, dude. Look at that fucking. What? I do now. love like because this is the exact type of thing for like right, any documentary could be about any subject. A, uh, this I feel like I've seen this park in fucking uh, catfish. Before. I currently have thirty-one kids. <laughs> what is the mixing, dude? <laughs> He's playing. If we play, play. I'm sorry, dude. What the fuck is this? He's trying to be yesterday. sexy. Oh, oh my, no, no, not viewing, dude. That's crazy. Dude, you know, this producer is a freak for that. Yeah. Doggy would be better. Yeah, dude. Th that whole entire conversation is fucking insane. $400 to jerk off in a cup for her. At that point, I felt like kind of like Kyle the Gigolo. They want that baby. That's one of his kids. Oh, don't show a kid while you're talking push it about harder. this. Feels I'm going to do it harder. Fill Blur that kid. Don't, say, don't show a kid and say do it harder. Out. That's don't insane. Don't show that kid. Falls or something, yeah? Did you just compare his dick to Niagara Falls? <laughs> Do you think? Wait, can you pause real quick? <laughs> Why does this feel like a workout video? <laughs> Sperm kid. The, the audio mixing and the sound design of this is insane. <laughs> and do you think that they, they sent him an email that's like, uh, hey, Kyle, we're the producers of World of Weird, a show where we chronicle freaks and losers. <laughs> and we'd love to do a chronicle on you. And he just goes, I love TV. I want to be on the video. I think he loves attention so much that he'll literally do anything for coverage. Yeah. He thinks it's like free advertisement. Like, oh, people will see this and then I'll get more donations. Yeah, I bet. I, I know he's probably not because he doesn't have the clout for it, but I would love to scroll down and see a comment from him that's like, thanks for chronicling me and my journey. That'd be so funny. I'm scrolling down. I'm scrolling down. 
He's not in here. Yeah. It'd be great, though. Dude. It's insane. <laughs> He's just comments, loving this. Because yeah, you know, you're about to be 38, so I kind of want to get moving on that, you know? But, uh, yeah. So you get that little bundle of joy. The little mini Kyle Jr. Fast forward. Oh! <laughs> He's so into that. He's so into that. Mini Kyle Jr. He's. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> One of America's biggest sperm kings. Why did they just shut up with that? Stop saying sperm king. Fast it sounds like a drug deal. Fast forward. Like baby. Uh, like naturally, we're going to make a baby. So I try to look my best. Looking good for her. I really should shave my chest up? Though. Yeah. I've been this doing like the, this is like this the beginning scene of the machinist and whatever it years? is. I have babies all around <laughs> Dude, <America>. chill. <laughs> he has to like do keep I his balls not warm. The, world? the answer is yes. How many kids do you want? Realistically, I could say a hundred, but I may decide I want more than that. I maybe I'll have a thousand. The thing, yeah, him saying like, I want, want kids, these want kids is, is weird. Is you're not, weird you don't it's have not his. Yeah. yeah, you don't even have a single. Does he even have a kid himself? Like a kid that he raised. Well, well, how, he wouldn't have the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's stopping him from like, you know, going completely senile at the age of like 60 or 70 and then trying to like look for all these kids and then being like, I'm your dad. Right. Oh my you know? God. That's, a, that's the, another the thing lack the of experts regulation. Mm -hmm. said. They're like, you're like, he's prolific. He's a fucking weirdo. I like that the experts said that you're. You're a weirdo. Play is. <laughs> I want. I need to show Medically, you the interaction you're a freak. <laughs> between the British lady. No, you've scrolled too far ahead. Anyways, how many kids do you have? <laughs> oh, I Jarvis lost. was just telling us before we started the pod. He wants to do mass donations. Yeah. Well, I was see the thing. The thing that I don't respect about Kyle is that he counts. Because I personally <laughs> lost count. <laughs> Cause I'm just in it for the, the love of the game. Well, that's why he only has three thousand followers. Cause he's because he's only at all 70. of those are yeah. All okay. of those are still those are rookie numbers. Dude. Yeah, he's not putting up. This is where it's unhinged. This is like him in the middle of a donate. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Well, don't say in the middle of a donation. Hold on, it's in the middle of the donation, Scooter. Well, it's like clearly he's just gonna like fuck the camera or whatever. It's not Your like friends? for real. I. Kyle said that you have a. A boyfriend? Uh, yeah, I have a boyfriend. Uh, but he can't get you pregnant. He doesn't know she, you know, coming here. We don't, we don't tell him. Yeah. But you're like, well, you're not. He's not giving me a baby. Kyle has better sperm. He doesn't commit. Well, that's another thing. A commitment, yeah. It, they, they don't want to give a baby. They just want to get laid and get their dick wet. Men are pigs. You're not really committing though, are you? Yeah. You're just having sex. I'm right? not committing, but I'm giving the baby part. And I think that's good enough. I think that's, that's good like the enough. pot calling the kettle sperm. So this is it then? <laughs> I'm not committing, but I'm giving the baby part. Down. This um, by the way, uh, jail for ready. both of I them. Confident. I feel like, um, I mean, this woman can do whatever she wants, right? <laughs> no, dude, she's but, entrapping her boyfriend and saying that she's pregnant. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, they're like, legally, she's in the clear. <laughs> but, uh, Ethically, morally, um, this relationship cannot continue. Mm -hmm. It's a miracle. We we had a baby. It gets worse. No, With her, it gets no, worse. It does it? Yes. No. How? I feel good. I feel ready. I feel confident. Imagine if she was dating like oh, a different. Oh my like, god! I don't race, like that. Like a minority race, and the baby is obviously not. <laughs> so what's in the freezer? This is the test joke buffer. Oh, you put that next to the peas? I suck up the Hold on, fast forward. This is fuck this part. Okay, that's the same All bedroom. Right, go back, go back. Hopefully I just uh, impregnated her. I did my did my thing. I gave her the nine inch penis. She she didn't <laughs> orgasm and she's like, oh Kyle, I wish it was ten more. <laughs> I did my thing. I gave her the nine inch penis. <laughs> Cool, go, go, go back, go, go, go back. What, like one second, you're gonna fucking die. You're gonna fucking die. I know. I'm seeing him start to say something that I'm very concerned about. I okay. gave her the nine inch penis. She she didn't orgasm. And she's like, oh, Kyle. I wish it was ten more minutes so I could orgasm. But if I wasn't, you know, more like had stuff to do today, I would have. Uh, that would have. We would have. That's a that's a coat. <laughs> Too busy. That's a coat. Honestly, honestly though, that's a banger of a line. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. What, what? The confirmation! Go back, go back. <laughs> Fuck, go back like Dude, this a lot. is awesome. Yeah, right there, okay. So I could orgasm, but if I wasn't, you know, more like, have <laughs> stuff it? to do today, I would have. 
Uh, yeah, that would have we would have took our time more. How would you like the penis? Was it good? Was it, it was. It was good. It it's felt nine inches, right? Oh, I didn't measure it. But we, I know. I told you four. I told you four to nine inches. We, we told. We well, like, yeah. It doesn't matter what you said. My family. Like, I, he's like, like he's wait, pause. I'm an elephant. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, um. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 we, you, we, we discussed we, this. cut the cameras. We discussed this. I have nine <laughs> yeah, inches. Yeah, I told you. I gave you a script and everything. I his face right now. He's like, dude, it's fucking nine inches. I told also, you. Also, <laughs> also, and I, I picked this up when he, also, by the way, uh, the way he said, uh, I gave you the penis is, um, <laughs> it's like, it's, sur <laughs> it's surgical, dude. It's like, he has no riz whatsoever. And then I gave you the the nine inch penis. Okay, so when he first says nine inches, he stutters. Yeah. So I feel like he doesn't even believe it himself. No, like if no, you go no, back no, to what he, he says, like you would I know if it was nine inches, dude. Like if, if I was like, was that nine inches? You'd be like, yeah, absolutely, it was nine inches. Look, like, I don't think it matters. Is the thing like it why would it matter? Like we're talking about someone getting pregnant. We're not talking about like her sexual satisfaction. Well, true, true, no, true, true. The good thing about me is that I can actually just inseminate the uterus itself. Yeah. Just straight into yeah, the uterus. Exactly. His nine inch <laughs> penis is gonna get the sperm closer to the cervical opening so it can <laughs> swim course, to the ovaries. My favorite thing so far has <laughs> been him being like, sorry I couldn't make you orgasm, we got shit to do today. I got, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's I, I'm gonna steal that actually. <laughs> actually yeah. Yeah. I'm really busy. I would have made you orgasm, but I'm, uh, busy. I'm so I got, busy. I got somewhere to be in mm, five I'm minutes. Sorry. I can't make you orgasm today. I have to get to Costco in 30 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> I've got a four o'clock that I've got to make, and I need my nine inches recharged. <laughs> Which was ten more minutes, so I could orgasm. But if I wasn't, you know, wait, back up. Like, he said the nine inch it. penis already stuff. Hold so on. like, watch where he stutters. Yeah, here it is. I gave her the nine inch penis. I gave her the <laughs> <laughs> nine inch penis. Nine inch penis. No, no. It's like, I don't believe he. So I, <laughs> I don't believe it. I wasn't, you know, more like. Had it's like she ordered it. Take your time. That would've, we would've took our time more. How'd you like the penis? Was it good? Was it was, it was. It's like, she, he's a waiter at a menu. Yeah, how did you like the, <laughs> how you how, yeah, how did you like the penis? Like, <laughs> we, I watched this part, but there's a part in the beginning that we skipped over that is the- Wait, cause wait, there's something else you said here. It I'm like- good. It's, it's nine inches, right? Oh, I didn't measure right? it. Right? He's so pathetic. He's so, like, insecure. We always told you this. I told you, friends in my family. Like, oh. and <laughs> I feel like I am watching him gaslight someone and just saying he has a longer penis than he does. Which, by the way, is a topic he introduced and is totally mm -hmm. irrelevant to what's going yeah. on. I'm trying to just Yo. get your sperm. He's like, I need you to orgasm and say it's nine inches or you well, don't it's get the on, sperm. It's on his, prof his, his bio when you pick the donor. He's like, well, your kid will have a nine inch penis. It runs in my family. Keeps the sperm inside you, you know. And that's like a plug, and the deeper it is, the closer to the cervix. And it really <laughs> oh! 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 Oh!
Uh, yeah, I like him. Uh -huh. This is Would a fetish. Would you marry me? Yeah. <laughs> He's, this is such a power kink, dude. Yeah. One hundred percent. I mean, look at this. Everything position. he asks for, it's like I have a big penis. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then he's like, yeah. yes, yes, big penis. You'd marry me? Yes. 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 You want baby tiny yeah. Kyles? Yeah. 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 He's like got like a he's like megalomaniacal like. He's such a yeah, freak. Yeah. Like mass he insemination. Is, it's almost like at, like old medieval like royalty. Yeah. He is like the sperm Joker. Oh yeah. <laughs> he is the sperm right. Joker. But yeah, that's basically it with him. He's a fucking. Wow. Yeah. What a oh wild ride we just took you and, on. And this is just one of many. Well, it was doggy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it was wild you ordered ride. the nine inch penis with doggy and missionary on yeah, the side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is like one of many documentaries he has has about him, and they're all equally probably because people insane. say this guy will say yes to anything. He has, yeah. and he has. Well, literally, we were just telling you our friend said she wanted to interview him. He's like, yeah, okay, fine. Here, I can pull up the no, exact he literally shit he start, said. He literally started the conversation with, do you want baby? Baby or no? It's almost like he... Fan he's, or baby he's is wild. American, right? Yeah. 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 He, he like, LA. It feels like he's like... Um, Foreigner. <laughs> well, because well, like, these people like have accents and stuff. And I'm like... He travels the world. Yeah, he said, hello, fan or interested? <laughs> And then she said, big fan, I'd like to bring you on my Twitch stream for an interview to help potential future recipients. Are you up for it? He's like, I usually have to ask permission, but I feel like it's just Twitch and not like it's big. So yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> How many followers do you have? Yeah, you can promote me to potential women that want. And then the baby emoji. Wait, so he, he like negged your friend. He was like, yeah. well, it's Twitch. So yeah, it's not like, like yeah, yeah, he did it first. Hello, 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 fan or interested. We gotta get him on the pod. He's like, yeah. Fan he, or he's interested. like, keep me updated. Welcome Just to the game show. Fan or fan interested? Or interested. <laughs> we are Jarvis is interested. Raf, you just a fan. Just, just a, a fan. fan. Yeah, and the, the, the ending, he's like, yeah. Keep me keep me updates. Just depends on if I'm donating that day or not. <laughs> it's like he always wants to let you know that he's he's doing like the never thing. not mentioned sperm. Like he's like, I'm Kyle, the sperm donor. Uh, I could be free. Just depends on if I'm donating sperm. With, with my <laughs> huge nine-inch penis, it pushes it in. It's it's not for sexual reasons. I mean, all of you are tight. Yeah, you're yeah. all tight. You're all, you're all tight. <laughs> it's been a long time since so you're tight. It's so gross. Yeah, it's so nasty. Oh, you you man. like it? You like my? I gave you the penis. Do you like it? This is gonna be in someone. Someone's gonna cut this out. Um, <laughs> you ordered the penis. a lot of work to do. <laughs> yeah, you ordered the penis. I gave it to you. Um, and you enjoyed it, and it was nine inches. Yes. You yeah, like, absolutely. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, say it louder for the cameras. <laughs> it was like no, we did we did doggy, and you couldn't see the penis, but it was nine inches. Oh, well, I didn't measure it. We agreed that it was nine inches. <laughs> my family, my long dicked family, it all runs in our in our history. He gets so a, he calls and it phones in a friend. Hey, my it's nine inches, right? Just tell them. Yeah. yeah. No, literally, because like it doesn't matter. Like. <laughs> It doesn't really matter if your like father's father had a nine inch penis. That doesn't <laughs> necessarily mean that you have a big dick. It runs in my family. <laughs> you're <laughs> you're feeling generations of long dick. Right yeah, now. yeah. you're feeling my grandpa inside you right now. I, <laughs> long, I, I have that, an idea. That. I, uh -oh. I don't know. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm nervous. I don't like that. What's the idea? Michael should do a documentary on him. No, I'm not letting my brother. My brother is a, uh, is a oh filmmaker God. and he's like into documentaries. He might. He, he could. Bro, I would not go in his room. He I would touch anything in his house. Do you think he's he has a house? A, okay, anything near him is car. car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you think he has a uh, cameo? He kind of seems like the type. No, oh. I, tr I looked. Okay. Oh, he That'd doesn't? Be sick, oh, that would have been. That would have been. Dude, he's, he's not Meyer interested in giving one? you any fame. He just wants to give you the sperm. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Dude, I'm going to DM him, but can you make a cameo, please? <laughs> I'm also like, can we DM him? Uh, hey, like, if you do all this for free, how do you make money? I yeah. Jarvis, I swear to God, like, he loves attention. If you DM him. that as much as clear. I, oh, I am not going to DM him. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I will, I will feel dirty. Dude, you'd have to like wash your. I phone would have to. Yeah, bleach. I have to put a black light on my own phone. <laughs> Go into your bathroom. You just find yeah. cups of sperm. I feel like the minute, you, the minute you DM him, just like water would shoot out of the phone at you. Yeah, Jonathan yeah. yeah, doesn't have one. No. Oh, he doesn't. Uh, that's a, that's a shame. Sperm, sperm, devil fruit. Yeah, probably oh, yeah. the spermy, spermy. Yeah, the nine, 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 the nine inch. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> gumu gumu dick. <laughs> <laughs> so you think at the end of like inseminating somebody, he puts like the tip thing on, like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like he puts like a little fireplace on his phone and some music, and just puts it down and just he's goes. Like, <laughs> he's like, I just gave you the tip. What's my tip? <laughs> he, oh, I just feel like Does he have a menu. I feel like it's Ew, gotta what? be like the bedside manner's gotta be like. So how is the penis? <laughs> Did you like the penis? I don't think there is any bedside manner. I think he's literally like, all right, do the do do the thing, and, and while like, I wash myself. It's like this. It's like, yeah, I gave you the penis. How was it? Pe- yeah, he comes in yeah, a full yeah, waiter. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, make sure you give me a five star rating on Yelp. You know, my yeah. business thrives on your fucking rating. I'm sure he does. So crazy. Imagine your sperm donors on Yelp. Would Kyle be Gordy sperm donor. How to be pregnant by Kyle? Oh, okay. Oh, oh nice. Oh, there's comments. Do you ship? Thanks. Do you ship is insane. Can you email me, please? Hi, email Kyle. sperm. <laughs> are, where are you in the states, sir? Please donate a sperm. It's very important to me. Donate one sperm. <laughs> please one <for> sperm, <laughs> sir. Please donate a sperm. That's crazy. Uh, anyways, so uh, we know you. Uh, we know you have to dip pretty soon. So oh, I yeah. think this is a good place to kind of. Yeah, this is a. a we've, in we've, it. we've come and now I must go. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna kick you um, out the way Kyle kicks it. Yeah. Did you enjoy the podcast? Out. Did you get all nine inches? I got all nine inches of the podcast. Yeah, none of none of us finished, but none of us finished. But that's just because I have to go. If you were, yeah, if you didn't have a time, normally limit, I think we could have yeah, 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 yeah. all. Yeah, Jarvis has a hard out, and you know, yeah. uh, I had a hard in, a hard out, yeah. a hard on. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's our next intro for the podcast: hard in, hard, hard out, out, hard, hard on. on. Fuck, Welcome dude. in, everybody. Welcome in, hard on podcast. Uh, Is there anything you want would like to promote or plug um, while we're here? Anything coming? I've been up? thinking about starting a. a Donation business. Yeah. Um, oh my God. What do you call it? Jarvis Johnson donates. <laughs> Jarvis, Jarvis owns you the Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> Johnson. Johnson by Jarvis. Johnson by Jarvis is great. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go on GoDaddy right now to see if that's taken or not. Yeah. Yeah. You got to use GoDaddy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> upload clips. Of I'll you. just uh, <laughs> I'll just promote uh, podcast Sad Boys, mm-hmm. uh, comedy podcast about feelings. Um, I do with my my good buddy Jordan, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, listen to it where podcasts are sold. If you like this podcast, uh, maybe you'll like that one. Yeah, there's we a lot less podcast. sperm though. There is a lot less sperm. Unfortunately, sorry. Fun fact: Sad Boys was the first podcast I was ever on. So mm-hmm. yeah, and now. It's full circle. Last. And if you guys want to check out the Jordan episode, just go to the YouTube page. It's there. Go check out Sad Boys. It's one of our favorite podcasts. And yeah, you Jarvis can listen to. Uh, I love that with collabs with podcasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can like get. Uh, you can be like, oh, I like this person. I like this person. Now I can. You can listen to the Jordan episode. Get used to Jordan. Listen to this episode. Get used to me. Mm-hmm. Now you can listen to our podcast mm-hmm. together. Um, we will be talking, and then you can listen to our episode with Brogan. Yeah, are you guys thinking about doing another live show? Because that was a lot of yeah. that was a lot of fun. Yeah, I think great, we dude. are. I think we want to do like two a year or something. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. that'd be great. Just to like, because it does involve a lot of planning, mm-hmm. and so it's like not something that we like always want to be preparing for the next show. But it is like really fun to you know just see everybody and and do like just a, I like the smaller show. Yeah, environment. yeah, it feels more intimate. Yeah. Oh, cool. But, uh, like, <laughs> but not in that way. <laughs> <laughs> Nine inches of a show, yeah, at least. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> it runs in our family. The podcast. <laughs> Is there anything you guys would like to say to our lovely friend no, Jarvis? Thank you so much for being <laughs> thank on. You so much for coming on and coming on this journey with us. Yeah, you know? great, dude. I, I had a great time. I hope that. Uh, I mean, all things considered, I had a great time. Um, <laughs> I mean, we would love to have you back. I think we made a beautiful podcast. I think baby we did today. too. Yes. I think we did too. Yeah. And in nine months, we'll see what happens. We'll see yeah. what happens. Yeah. Yeah. We're, um, we're going to overpopulate the world with our with podcast. Our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> My goal is to have a thousand podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, all right if you made it to the end comment how many baby emojis you have seen on this and then also uh the, we're gonna cut to the patreon and we're gonna continue the conversation uh oh, probably yeah. me frogan and raf and then mm-hmm. yeah so but anyways say bye to our guests bye guys bye, bye. guys bye bye Talk your shit, bitch. What's going on? <laughs> Rafi, talk your shit. Yeah, what's wrong? Or whatever. I'm not fucking with this vibe. <laughs>